All right, putting the heads back on the uh, 5.3. Um, yeah, went with the BTR head gaskets, and I went with the ARP studs, which are expensive, but they're a lot better quality than what I had. So the ones I had before, it, it actually even looked like it cracked. I mean, it smushed the washers. So you got the washers that go below the stud. Now, on these right here, I always wondered why they never made these like this, but that washer isn't supposed to spin. The nut's supposed to spin on the washer, and the washer's supposed to stay on the head. So these washers, every stud I've ever done, they're, they're smooth on the bottom. Well, these ain't. These got like little things that'll grip the head and help it keep from spinning, which is really cool. It really helps, but when you put these studs in, make sure that the, the like down in here, there was oil. I had to clean that oil out and then make sure you clean off the washer because the packaging material, you know, would be like all slimy and stuff. So I cleaned them all off with carburetor cleaner and then uh, clean the head off as well. And then I put the, I put the studs in, um, ARP comes with directions, those cheap studs I had didn't come with directions and uh so yeah i didn't even know what to torque them at i put them at 75 these arp studs they go to 80 but um well the 10 bottom ones do the top ones only go to like i don't know 24 or something Let's see what it says 28 they go to 28 and also i got a new camera a new phone and this one does really good video, really good zoom, and see it don't blur when you shine it on a light like my other camera did. So I'll be able to get y'all better quality videos. But the way I did this was I thread chased all the holes. Oh, I actually learned that the LS bolt studs, head bolts, whatever, they don't go into a water jacket like a small block Chevy. They did in. I know that because I stuck an air hose down in there after I thread chased it. I stuck an air hose all the way down in there and I blew it out and if it was connected to a water port water would have shot shot out the water passages and stuff and it didn't do that so so this time I didn't use the sealant as I did when I put the motor together I just used the the ARP um, lube assembly lube and I um, thread chased the holes blew the holes out uh, put the studs in. I just tightened them finger tight, like the instructions say to do. And then, um, and then, and then, um, after I got the studs in there, I put the lubricant. I went ahead and put the lubricant on the stud because trying to put the lubricant in the stud on the stud where the bolt goes on, the nut where the nut goes on. I always mix my words up sometimes. Where the nut goes on is hard to do once you get the head on, especially on these top five bolts. Um, so I did that, and then I cleaned the surfaces off on the head where the washer goes. Okay, and then um, I put all I put the head, the gasket on, then I put the head on, and then I put all the washers on, and then I lubed up the bottom of the nut and put all the nuts on, and I already did both sides. Um, they like you to do three sweeps, 25, 50, and 80. So I did one sweep at, I did it at 30. And then it was getting late last night. So today I'm going to do sweep 50 and sweep 80. But I lost one of these small washers. They go up here. So I'm going to have to try to find that. I looked for it last night and couldn't find it. And when you drop them tiny washers bolts nuts whatever and it hits the gravel in this carport gravel floor garage it's hard to find them so i'm gonna try to search for that a little bit this christopher hooked me up with some good lights to put in here and that helps a ton but when it gets dark in here like it did last night when i dropped the washer it's still kind of hard to see on the ground I can put my light down there and stuff, but it's still hard to see. But I'm going to go look for that. We're going to finish this thing up. And the new phones. Look here. I can zoom all the way in on that. Way back here. 
Got good camera now. I'm gonna get y'all some good videos with a good camera. Woohoo! Look, this one zooms in better too. I don't even have to auto zoom. This camera's awesome. I found this washer. Look. I dropped this thing way over here. And somehow it rolled all the way over here behind this tire. Right there. It was right there. <sighs> anyway. Let's follow the order. There's the order for the torque procedure. I'm just following that order and we'll do 50 pounds and then 80 pounds. And then we'll put the heads or the rockers, exhaust intake, all that other good stuff on there. And then if I get this done today, I might go to the drag strip this weekend. The DA should be cold out this weekend. The DA should be really low. That's same thing on those, except for those washers don't have that serration on the bottom of them. They're slick on both sides, but those only get torqued to 28 foot pounds. It's not going to matter much. But again, you do want to grease the, um, the bottom of the nut. You want the nut to spin on the washer. You don't, you want the washer to act like a piece of the head. You don't want it to move. Cause if it moves it it'll mess you up mess up your torque reading but um yeah i put i um used a little tap to tap out the holes i blew the holes out with air um i lubed the threads on the on the studs put the studs in i lubed the threads where the bolts are going to go i put the well i put the head gasket on next then i lubed the the threads on the studs where the bolts are going to go. I put the heads on and then um, cleaned off my washers. I made sure to clean off the surface where the where the uh, studs are going to go real good with carburetor cleaner. And then I put the washers on and then I put the nut on, lubing the bottom of the nut. And those washers, the, the serrated or whatever you want to call that goes down the smooth side goes up towards the nut yep and then just torque it down in that pattern make sure you use afr lube on all the threads let's finish torquing it down all right the heads are all bolted down these get bolted down last now time to put the steam port block offs in the back and then I got to uh, put the ground wires on the back of the head, which I got just hanging out right here. Mine's only got two where I took a bunch of stuff off. I think the stock cars have like three or four. But, uh, yeah. Put those on next. And then uh, we'll go ahead and hook this ground wire up to that goes from the frame over there. Right there. Go ahead and hook that one up just so I don't forget. And then we can... Uh, Drop the intake on there. All right, I got the steam pipes all on. Got the ground wires bolted back there. Got the cap off ports back there. Now to put the intake on. And um, I know this looks awful, but I'm tired of these vacuum caps busting on me. There's no reason for that to bust. I'm not even using boost. That, both both the ones I had two on there. Both times I've had to take the intake off. Both times it was busted. This one wasn't busted, but I went ahead and did this anyway. But nobody can see back there. It's no big deal. I got new bolts for the intake that fit better. And yeah, make sure all the wires are out of the way. And we'll smack the intake on it. Make sure you're all cleaned up. And make sure your rubber gaskets down here are still in good shape. Oh, then take back on. I'm going to sign the camera back here and make sure I didn't get in any wires. That looks good. Check out the other side.
Looks good to me. All right, got the intake and fuel rail back on. Now let's, uh, I think I'm gonna put the exhaust on before I put all that other crap on there. It just makes it easier. There's more room in there. But yeah, everything's come back together good. My new intake bolts work like a charm. And the, uh, the sides of the intake when I tightened them down, these two were cracked. And they didn't crack anymore, so should be fine. All the injectors are in. Injector harness is plugged in. <coughs> Let's put the exhaust on. All right, got the exhaust on except for the bottom part. I'll do that later. Now, let's go ahead and put the rockers, the valve covers, and the cools back on. All right, I got it back together. I didn't take as many videos as I wanted to just because I was trying to hurry and get it done. So the only thing left to do is put these exhaust pieces on. And uh, I'm going to take the radiator hose off from there. I'm going to hold it up here real high. I'm going to fill it up real good. And then I'm going to use that... that uh, Mountain Dew bottle I stick down here with tape in it so I can fill the water level up real high and let it burp itself and we should be done so if we don't make it to the drag strip tomorrow not we'll go Saturday but y'all there it is I hope y'all enjoy the new camera get y'all some better quality videos y'all like and subscribe and have a great day